Okay, so in an effort to continue to track down the whine on this truck, or the noises it makes rather, this isn't actually even the whine, this is a hum I get at 50 miles per hour. I'm over here on the driver's side, front wheel, gotten it taken off or jacked onto jack stands safely here. And I've got, like I said, I've got a hum that happens at about 50 miles an hour and it's really irritating. And typically I've heard that that um, can be wheel bearings. I actually changed the wheel bearing on the other side, but we're over here on this side that I didn't change. I know, I know, you're supposed to change them in pairs. Um, I was a little broke and <laughs> I was thinking that it was the other side and it could be this one. Got the stethoscope out again. And I just wanted to make a quick video on checking this wheel bearing for noise essentially with a, with a stethoscope for you guys. Um, anyway, let me put this on. So it's got this probe on the end of it, right? You can also use a long screwdriver if you get a real long screwdriver. But what I've been doing is coming to the back here and I've been placing the probe here on the back of the bearing, kind of here in this groove where the bearing is going to be so that I can listen to it. And actually, I already listened to this one. This is on the back of the steering knuckle. Let me see if I can get this on here, kind of like how I've been doing. So I've been kind of sticking it in that gap there. This isn't a moving part. Let me get my fingers out of the way. This is really tight back here. Um, but I've been sticking it there and I've been listening. And this one is, uh, it's fairly scratchy sounding. I've compared it to the one on the other side, the newer one that I've changed. And that one is, I mean, not silent, but it's, it's a lot less scratchy than this one. So I'm wondering if maybe all this time, <laughs> this one has actually been the source of my problems. This is also why you should change them in pairs. Don't cheap out like I did. But uh, I thought it'd be fun to try and get a recording of this. I'm just gonna kind of put the stethoscope earpiece up to the mic on the phone and see if I can pick it up. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try it. But you just hold this probe here on the back and give the wheel a spin, and it should let you listen a little bit closer to how that bearing sounds. So I'm gonna try and spin it into the camera mic and we'll see if that works. Recording this separate in the event that that camera didn't pick up the noise, which it probably didn't very well. Um, what I heard was kind of a that's about the best I can do to imitate it. And um, when you've got it going at low speed, you can actually hear a kind of like ticking, crackling kind of sound. Like it's it's real faint. I don't know if the camera picks it up. But when you listen to the bearing with the stethoscope, it's definitely noisier than the other side. It's kind of a sound. So it doesn't sound like it's running very smoothly at any rate. Now that little rubbing sound you're hearing is actually the rotor hitting the pad every now and then periodically because these rotors are also warped. I'm going to make a separate video on that. So stay tuned for that one. But there's also a little bit of like a ticking noise as that spins around that I don't believe is the rotor. So I'm hoping this bad bearing will finally fix that hum if I switch this uh, wheel bearing out. While I'm talking about checking wheel bearings too, I wanted to mention this. You can get the, uh, get the hub spinning. And if you've got coilovers, you can put your hand on one of the coils while you got it spinning pretty good. And a lot of times if you, this is what I've read. Um, I haven't verified it, this method, but you can get the bearing spinning pretty good and if you feel the vibration in the coil, people say that that can be an indicator that that wheel bearing is bad. So that's what I'm doing here. I do feel a slight vibration in this coil as I'm doing this. So take that for what it's worth. I'm actually gonna check the other side. Let's compare. Okay, this is the coil that I've, or the bearing that I've more recently changed. I feel vibration in this one too. So I don't really know how good of a method that really is. But for checking for noise, it's definitely one way to do it. Also, while you've got your wheel on, a good thing to do to check for a good bear or a bad bearing is going to be any kind of slop in the bearing itself. It's a little easier to do with the wheel on there. But if you had the wheel, you would grip it up at 12 and down at 6 and move it in and out to check for any play. If you've got any play like that on at 12 and 6, 
moving your hands in and out, it's a pretty good sign that your bearing is getting ready to go. Um, if you actually do nine and three, grip the wheel here and here, and do the same thing, you can check for loose tie rods that way. It doesn't check bearings, but you can check your tie rods that way by doing the, uh, the back and forth. You don't want any like crazy, crazy back and forth with them. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick look on how to check a wheel bearing with a stethoscope. You're just looking for, or you're listening for rather, you're just listening for any kind of like sound that's out of the ordinary. Um, it can be really good to compare both sides um, while you got it jacked up, you know, take the wheel off both sides and check both sides. That way you can compare the sounds. And especially if you think you may have one going bad, that should help you track down which one in particular it should be. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like it if you did, consider subscribing, and I will see you on the next one.